Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we'll be discussing a few questions related to Google Associate Cloud Engineer. This is part one of the series. The points are a short overview of the topics that we'll discuss today. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. So let's start. Question one. You are the project owner of a GCB project and want to delegate control to de colleagues to manage buckets and files in cloud storage. You want to follow Google recommended practices. Which IAM roles should you grant your colleagues? Okay, so let's think of the question in this way. You have left your phone at your house and you want someone to go and retrieve it, but you don't want the person to have access to the entire house. And you know the phone is supposed in the living room. So you, what you want is you only want to give the person access to the house and which will which will give access to the living room. Supposing that the living room is, uh, well, it doesn't have a separate door. So the person will walk in through that door and they will enter the room, they'll retrieve the phone and they'll go out. So you only want the person to have access to that, to your house, not the rooms, not the kitchen, nothing else, just the living room of your house. So now the first option is project editor, but uh, see here, we can clearly see uh, delegate control to colleagues uh, to manage buckets and files. So we'll underline this, manage buckets and files in cloud storage. So as I mentioned before, you want minimal access. You want to give minimal access so that it's secure. So in project editor, it's giving access to the entire project. The person will be able to, the person will be able to go th to the rooms, to the kitchens, to the bathrooms, everything, which is not minimal access, and it's not needed for the work either. They don't need to enter the living, uh, they don't need to enter the bathroom to retrieve the phone. So similarly, in GCP, project editor means that the person will have access to the entire project they'll be able to edit everything in the project and we don't want that we only want them to be able to manage buckets and files in cloud storage that is why a is not the answer now we'll see c and d they are almost the same one is storage object admin and one is storage object creator now suppose we'll take another example for this suppose you want someone to go into your house and make something for you like cook something for you so what will you give them the access to? You give them the access to the kitchen and your house. But that person won't be able to retrieve your phone. That is not their job. Their job is to make the food. So D, which is storage, storage object creator. So the person, so that uh, the colleague will only like the person you're giving the access to, to make food. That will be the colleague. So they only have the access to uh, create an object, which is not what we want. We don't want them to manage the buckets and files. Essentially, why would you give someone access to make something or to create something when you want them to manage something? They're completely different tasks and they're not the same thing. That is why D is not the answer. And now C, which is, uh, this is storage object admin. Now the thing is the question's not asking anything related to objects. It wants your colleagues, it wants to grant your colleagues, colleagues access to manage buckets and files in the cloud storage. So nothing object related, that's why C is not the answer. And with that logic, you can also eliminate D. So A, C and D have been eliminated. So B, storage admin is the answer. One important point, the reason uh, we're choosing B, storage admin, You'll see C storage object admin. So as I mentioned, please keep this in mind. Uh, question does not ask anything related to objects. It wants us to manage buckets and files. That is why storage admin is the answer and not storage object admin. So for question one, our answer is B storage admin. Moving on to question two. We have sensitive data stored in three cloud storage buckets and have enabled data access logging. You want to verify activities for a particular user for these buckets using the fewest possible steps. You need to verify the addition of metadata labels and which files have been viewed from those buckets. What should you do? Let's read the options. 
using the GCB console, filter the activity log to view the information. Using the GCP console, filter the stack driver log to view the information. C. View the bucket in the storage section of the GCP console. And D. Create a track trace in stack driver to view the information. So let's start with the last option. Actually, let's go. To, there are two options related to stack driver. Now in S in uh, GCP ES3, it already has the activity log. And stack driver, uh, well, the stack driver is basically an additional. It's not cost efficient. You need extra money for it. So since it's not cost efficient, and we know that we need every time a question related to cloud is a question related to cloud, you need to choose the cost efficient option, not the one that costs more. So anything related to stack driver will not be the answer. So that's B and D. And that leaves us with C. View the bucket in the storage section of the GCP console. Now imagine you have a register well the security guard in your apartment complex has a register and they have the logs they have the information of each person like when they entered the complex when they left the complex what date what's their name everything but you want to check that but here it says use the bucket in the storage section of the gcp console you want to check who got in and got out but instead the person is telling you to go to a different building. That makes no sense, right? That is why C is not the answer. View the bucket in the storage section of the GCP console. That is not the answer. So B, C, and D have been eliminated. That is why A is the answer for question two. Moving on to question three, which is the last question of this part. You need to set up permissions for a set of compute engine instances to enable them to write data on a, into a particular cloud storage bucket. You want to follow Google recommended practices. What should you do? Okay, for there's a thumb rule for this. For any such questions, you shouldn't use access code. Well, more specifically, you should use an IM role. Okay. So the options with IM role are C and D. Now let's read the options. C. Create a service account and add it to the IM role storage dot object creator for that bucket. And D, create a service account and add it to the IM role storage dot object admin for that bucket. Now the only difference between C and D is the creator and the admin. The creator creates, the admin has, the admin is the administrator. They have access to everything. So similarly, like the example I took first of you want someone to go and cook something for you. So you'll give them the access to the kitchen. You won't give them access to any other room. You need minimal access. Remember that minimal access. So you need them to, do, to go to the kitchen. You're not going to give them the keys to your rooms, to the bathrooms, etc. Similarly, creators should only need access to creating, which is storage.object creator. See, the question says to enable them to write data into a particular cloud storage bucket. So you're just giving them the admission to edit, to change something in. Uh, in the bucket but what D is doing it's giving them the access to the entire thing to the entire object which we don't which we don't need which we don't want actually so D is not the answer so finally for question 3 D uh, sorry I'm sorry question 3 C create a service account and add it to the IM role storage.object creator for that bucket is the answer. All right, guys, that was the end for this part. Once again, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. The topics covered in this video were IM roles, activity log, and object creator permissions. See you guys in the next part.